Okay, so um, now we're going to go to um, our styles. Styles, as you can see. Okay, I mean, <laughs> so like, um, if you want, you can like um, search in Google maybe, and then you can write um, Lego. Legos, I guess. And then you can click this images button and then you find all sorts of mangoes. I'll choose um, this one. Then, uh, I mean, like you click in it and then you see um, all of these like um, options. If you can click a uh, copy image address. Okay. And then um, you can go as all okay. Okay, for the next line, you can write um, image, and then you can do write source. Um, and then, okay, so, and then you can write your link. But if you do it from Google, I guess, it'll be really long. So if you want, you can go to a website. And then you can click um the this the link and then you can um just uh wait for it so long. Okay, so here and then you can just uh copy image address. It will be uh it will be kind of shorter. So and then you get um this. Why is not coming? Oh, yeah, now the mangoes are coming. Great. And that's how you get your mangoes. If you want to change the size, you can go ahead and maybe uh, make it to uh, like lem equal if you want lem or I mean, length is just right length. And then um, you can write uh, 20, 200, mm -hmm. and with F equal to 150. And then you would do um, the backslash. And then here, slash, I mean, not backslash. And then wait for it to load. And there you go, mango. So um, if you want, you can go ahead. Can you um please do one image and um share your screen, or maybe share your code in the chat? Okay. You can just uh like um search any image on Google. It can be like um if you want, it can be ice cream if you really love ice cream. If you want, you can go um here. You can um ah. You can go to the page and then you can click the image, copy the address, and then you can go to um, another image, and then you can just write um, as RC equal quotation marks the image. And then you get your little bit ice cream. And if you want, change the size to uh, 500 width equals to 500. I mean, 150. I don't want it to be that big. And 
then um, I forgot to close the tag. There we go. Our image, uh, there's no like um, back like end tag. You just put a slash. But if you want, mm -hmm. you and like um, there's no back tag. So uh, but that's the only um, like only start tag that has and that doesn't have an end tag. It only has a slash for the end tag. Okay. So, okay, so everybody clear? Um, Sunny, are you clear? I'm still getting, I'm getting an ice cream picture because I have ice cream flavors. Mm -hmm. the, title, the title's named that too. Ice cream flavors. That's nice. Hmm. So now let's get into our ah. Sorry, Mr. Pineapple. Styles. So we have a background colors, fonts. You can change the color, color of the font, the like background color. So um, I will show you how you can do it. Then you can put it in, um, you can just copy and paste this in your heading. Why is it not coming? Uh, I just, uh, Okay, I forgot to end this. Wait, okay, so it would be, why is it not coming red? It's not coming red. Okay, so like if I wanted to maybe change the color to uh, blue. I can change this a little. Wait, why is it not coming blue? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. So now I'm going to show you um some how. Okay, sorry. So if I wanted to maybe uh, <coughs> sorry, if I wanted to do um a paragraph, and I would name it uh like a paragraph is like, if you want to write paragraph, you would do um this, this, and inside you would put a P. That would be a paragraph. So if I wrote, this is our second program, and then end the quote, ah, oh, sorry. Ah, no. And then, then when you run it, it will go to the powder blue. But if you want, you can write tomato. If you want that, you can put that. So, now we're going to go to our There's uh, many other colors you could choose. Uh, there's like, um, there's like powder blue. You could do, uh, 
Like, uh, I think it's called a uh, slate blue, I guess. Tomato, uh, hope you do you remember the other colors that we can do? Powder blue. Yeah, and uh, we could also yeah. do silver and gold. Can... Yeah, I'm not, I don't think you can do silver. No, you can. Okay, okay then, um, oh. um, tomato? Yeah, there's also tomato. And color, in color you can do, um, if you want to change the text, I mean the text color, you would uh, write uh, color blue. So then the text color would be blue. And the um, background color tomato, you can also do um, my favorite one, which is, uh, yeah, I showed you powder blue. So, but you can also do like silver, which is another one of my favorites. You spell it right. So it would become silver. If you want to write gold, you can put gold. There's a bunch of colors you can do choose. It, and if you want light, light blue is kind of like powder blue. You can do all sorts of colors. You don't need to like, um, you can do uh, whatever color you really, whatever color you want. So for now, I'm just going to change it to uh, gold. And then, um, for, and for, um, so for color, you can uh, change it to blue, but for now I'm just gonna change it to, uh, just keep it the white. So now we're going to go with font size. Here is our font size. We have, um, we can have, ah, <laughs> we have a paragraph and then the style you can change and then the equal sign, quotation marks, and then you write font size, but don't, but don't do um underscore, you do a hyphen and then you do colon and then you can write a uh, 30 and then you write um pixels or you can just write percent. So if I were to say that, I can just write percent and basically be the same thing. Paragraph style, like um, the paragraph style. Oh yeah, right. So, and then I would copy this. And I can, this is very big. But if you want it to be very tidy, you could just write up. Uh, I raised the percent sign. You could write a five. It'll become really tidy. But if you want, it, but we're going to make it just one hundred percent for now. So now we're gonna go back to the PowerPoint. And then we, and here we can do a, uh, well, I'm gonna copy and paste this. And uh, pre stands for, um, okay, we're not gonna go with that now. Ah, just write P. Why is it going to create? Anyways. And then you would uh, add my quote. Oh yeah, right. I have to write. So hello world. If I wrote that as well. All right, hello world. Great. Um, then it, uh, the text will be a uh, blue powder blue. I mean the color will be powder blue, and the font family would be a uh, Comic Sans MS, which is my favorite font. You can do. Uh, um, I think you should like um. Maybe the font family, you can change it to a Veltica. I searched it up on Google. Mm -hmm. Not help, like, um, it's on the chat. Yeah, thanks, I'm I also like spelling. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, medium C. I think this is, I think this is how you spell it. 
I see. I seem to guess. Honestly, I guess I'm just gonna want medium secret, which is another. You can do this for background color as well. So, uh, I'm gonna do the for yeah. the flat family. The yeah. things. Okay. Yeah, I said it in the chat. You can do it as well. You could do Ariel. And uh, honestly, I'm not so sure if how this would go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't spell it correctly. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. <clears throat> um, I can't. Oops, so. mm. Okay, I'm gonna. Continue. Okay, we're gonna go with um Ariel for now. Now, I'm gonna go back to PowerPoint. You can do um, like paragraph style text align center, which is the center. So that would be like a center text if you want this to be um centered. If I wanted to make the center head, this would be like a centered heading. So if I wrote um H1 style text align center centered heading. It would show like this. This would be our center heading because um it's text line um aligns the the center. So um, if I were to make it to a left, it would go left. If I wanted it to, to go right, it would go to that way, right side so so for now i'm just gonna make it centered because it is a centered heading or at least it says that yeah, center there you go so so any questions Hi, Miguel, are you clear? Okay. Hamish, are you also clear? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to go to um, Now I'm going to go to um, our comments. Let's go to comments. This is comment for my first HTML program. So like um, comments can comments yeah. comments can be be in more than one line and contain tags too. So if I were to put this, it would be you wouldn't like print anything because um this keep it helps you keep track of what you're doing. So if I were to um ah if I were to do this for my first HTML program it should show uh like it being slanted. Isn't it the second HTML program? Huh? Isn't it the second HTML program? Oh yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Why is it always like that? Second HTML program. So if I were to say uh why is that wait, is it coming? Yeah, it's comment. Okay, yeah, it's comment, I guess so. So uh, it will not be shown at the on the screen. It's just going to be a comment for your um for your own purpose. The like um the person who's going to see your project will only see this. They won't see your um they won't see the comment. 
Um, Sni, uh, what do you need help with? In the okay, um, in the image, I did I M G space S R. I mean S R C equal quote um quotation two quotation marks, and I typed in the link. <clears throat> I typed in the image address and the quotations, and it's printing it. And, and it's printing what I wrote. It's not printing the picture. Well, um, present your screen, I'm seeing. I'll make okay. I'll make some toast. Make toast. There we go. And then. Let me screen. 